Hello, Michael here with another RenderMan 22 tutorial. Just going to have a quick look at the denoise feature for the IT uh, in IPR uh, preview uh, for interactive rendering. So you can get your renders looking a little bit nicer, a little bit quicker. Um, so the first thing we're going to do is go up to our render settings in RenderMan. Head over to AOVs and in your beauty layer, if you're going to be looking at this in IT, um, we're going to make sure that denoise is enabled for single frame is fine if you were going to be doing final renders um, and rendering them out you might want to use cross frame if you're going to be uh, rendering animation single frame is obviously fine for a single frame and then all you need to do is bring up the um, IPR viewer and you'll see the robot um, rendering up right now and obviously um, at the moment you can see there's quite a bit of noise there particularly in that area there so there's a couple of ways you can activate the denoise function um, the quickest way or well, the quickest way is to use the hotkey but um, otherwise we can just go to view and then denoise image and you'll see that denoises it straight away so the hotkey is N so if you hit N it's just going to show you the difference between the two now um, this is obviously only rendered for a couple of seconds so it's not rendered all the way up to um, what my render settings were at, which I think I had the IPR set to 128. Yeah, 128 samples at a pixel variance of 0 0.010. Now that's um, that's at a pretty high um, quality uh, for a preview render. I wouldn't recommend using that for IPR normally, but just for the sake of this uh, tutorial, that's what I've done. So, so yeah, so as you can see, that renders up pretty quick. Um, and you can obviously move the camera around and it looks pretty nice and clean watch those shadows in the background uh, this is why it's a preview obviously you can see that they're not quite right and it'll take quite a while for them to uh, render in and look proper but if you're looking at just things that have got like a lot of texture to them um, sort of a lot of geometric noise it's going to clean that up very quickly normally inside there and on the shadow side of the of his body you'd get a lot of noise so that sort of really fixes that quite quickly um, obviously I'll show you just by hitting N and as that's rendered up quite a bit more you can see there's actually not that much noise but um, turning it on and off makes a bit of a difference um, and also something I forgot to mention in the last tutorial is um, you can move geometry and have it update in the IPR as well so um, if you're coming from 21 that's a really massive improvement because you'd have to uh, re-enable your previews every single time you rendered previously and now you can keep denoise on and you can get a pretty good idea of what your final renders are going to look like particularly if you're using denoise which I generally would recommend um, but I will do a separate tutorial for doing final renders with, um, with denoise because um, it's a little bit more involved um, and there's a couple other things you need to sort of worry about and I super don't have time because I'm about to leave for the airport uh, but yeah as you can see that looks pretty good um, so I'd recommend enabling that I don't know if it works on ATI cards um, it's I th it's an NVIDIA um, denoising AI um, from what I've read in the docs so that may mean that it only works on NVIDIA cards I'm using a 1070 for your reference um, and I'm assuming the 20 series are going to be even faster because they have re real-time ray tracing. So it'll be interesting to see what sort of improvements they have. I don't know if I'll be getting one straight away because um, money. But um, yeah, for the meantime, that is quite a bit faster um, than anything you would have seen in 21. Obviously, if you're just trying to get a quick um, look, quick bit of visit dev happening, um, or if you just if you're doing some work for a client or something like that, that would um that's a good way to do a really quick render and just bounce bounce ideas backwards and forwards. Particularly if you don't have an art centric client and they don't really understand that the difference between a final render and a preview render, which is usually the case. So yeah, hope that's helped anyone out there that was looking to do that. Um, just a short one today. I'll be back uh, soon with some more tutorials. But like I said, I'm traveling. So I won't be at my office for a little while, um, but that's cool. I'll be in the comments probably while I'm away um, every now and then. So if you have any questions or if you have any requests for tutorials, I'll be doing a lot of stuff for 22, so don't worry. That'll all be coming soon. Thanks for watching and happy rendering.